Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have The Clone Wars, but it's the 2D micro series, as uh, Disney Plus is calling it. It's It was just The Clone Wars for a while, and it was the only animated series that came out in 2003. Let's bring it up. It uh, came out in 2000, well, it says 2021. Uh, <laughs> really, it's it came out in 2003, and it technically was three seasons, but... This is broken into two parts, and the first part is actually two seasons of ten episodes each that are like three to four minutes each. And together, they make up like 20 episodes total. And it's a non-stop <laughs> battle. Uh, there's, uh, there's a reason why this isn't canon anymore. Uh, it, many reasons. Not, not that it's bad or anything. Uh, it is just sort of a Star Wars wet dream kind of thing. You're dealing with Jenny, uh, Jendi Tartakovsky. I'm sorry that I can't pronounce that properly. Jenny, Jendi Tartakovsky. He is the guy behind Samurai Jack, Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, uh, so many others, but especially if you've watched uh, Samurai Jack, you know kind of what you're in for with this. It's a lot of people with light swords, laser swords, and lightsabers, and uh, lots and lots of clone troopers just constantly blasting, constantly blasting away. The thing is, uh, there is almost not a moment in which there's no blaster fire or lightsabers swishing. Uh, oh, it's it's a hot, it's it's a it's a wonderful thing. Uh, but like I said, it's it's there's a reason why it's not canon anymore, even though it's established a number of characters. And even planets and idea and concepts that have moved on beyond it. Um, we are introduced to Asajj Ventress and Dirge in this. Asajj Ventress eventually made her way into the Clone Wars uh, regular series with Dave Filoni and George Lucas. And uh, Dirge has not been seen yet, but he will be soon be made canon, uh, just like Asajj and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, he is going to be showing up in some of the Star Wars comics really soon, and I imagine we might see him somewhere else in the future. I don't know. Either way, um, Dirge is a very is a character that's he's made for cartoons. Let's just say that uh, he's he's very exaggerated. He's very it, I don't know how well it would lend itself to real real life. Asajj Ventress. She's just crazy powerful and a great opponent for uh, Anakin Skywalker. Uh, they battle and in an almost silent, no words battle. It's just them going at it for like five minutes, it seems like it, and nonstop. And, and yeah, it's cartoon because if this was real life and you saw a, a multi-ton column from a stone temple drop on top of somebody, they're dead, Jedi or not. I don't care. It's just the way it is. And uh, here, there's a lot of leeway. This is the superhero version of of the Jedi. And I think Genji had great license to do this, just to go nuts with Jedi powers. Um, I, uh, I don't know if I said this yet, but I only watched the first half, because <laughs> uh, actually in a few days, I'm going to be watching this whole thing again, and I, you know, and I, I have seen it in the past, and uh, I, my friends and I are actually starting a binge marathon of all Clone Wars related animated series uh, Star Wars. So we're doing this and the regular Clone Wars and the Bad Batch and um, Rebels and all that. So we're doing all these things. All thrown together it's going to take us the rest of the year and it's only may <laughs> so it's going to take us the rest of the year one of us is having a baby so we're going to take a break for a bit but beyond that uh we'll end up watching you know a good eight episodes a night once a week and uh it should be great fun and i'll i'll catch up on the second half of this which strangely enough even though the first season or first and second season is a compilation of 20 episodes with no credit breaks no no credit moments at the end of each chapter thankfully because uh, that gets annoying uh, it just goes to the next chapter 
it's edited together beautifully, so it just goes right through. And the second season is episodes 21 through 25, so it's just four episodes, and they're much longer. It's uh, about 64 minutes. This one's about, the first half is about 70, so all told, it's a, it's a good, long movie. Um, but yeah, for this all to be canon, uh, you'd have to believe that Mace Windu could practically fly. That Mace Windu is Superman, the Flash, Batman, and Jedi all in one. Uh, it's one of my favorite sequences in the entire series. Um, there's a chapter that just fake, fo focuses on Mace Windu versus battle droids. And he also has some clone troopers with him. But the battle droids bring in a massive ship that... I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. It is very destructive in a way that when I first saw it many, many years ago, it just made me jump out of my seat. It it It's still... It's, it was thrilling to watch. I just burst out laughing, not because it's funny, but because it's so audacious as to why they would make a ship that does this. <laughs> it's... It's hilarious. It's, it's it's hilarious to me that they did that, but it's it's devastating, and you just see one guy with a lightsaber. Just okay, they got the opportunity to animate Samuel L. Jackson as a Jedi, and said, "Well, what would he do? What would he look like? He would kick all kinds of ass, and he does." Um, but yeah, but then we see him in Revenge of the Sith, and he gets he gets beaten up by by. Palpatine in Anakin and loses an arm. So, yeah, that Mace Windu in this animated series would have just fallen all the way down like a couple miles and then jumped right back up and just killed everybody. So, yeah, it's this, this, this has to be nullified in a sense, um, at least in the level of abilities. It's, is this is. The other Clone Wars show and Rebels is meant to imitate a certain level of reality. This is reality out the window, and it's it's still glorious. And I highly recommend it if you have not seen it, especially for the Mace Windu sequence. Um, also, by the way, it, it introduces General Grievous before he appeared in Revenge of the Sith. So you get an idea of just how crazy of a fighter and a killer. You saw him go up against Obi-Wan in Revenge of the Sith, but... Here in the cartoon world, yeah, there's a little bit more, a little bit more license for him to just go nuts. So, but character-wise, you know, he's he's the big bad that uh, that uh, we get to see in the main, you know, trilogy. So it's kind of cool, at least one film. But but yeah, I uh, highly recommend this. Give this a shot when you get a chance. This is loads of fun, and it feels like you're just watching an extended video game cutscene, or you're just watching somebody else play a video game, because it's just non-stop shooting and fighting. And, uh, there's little moments of dialogue and emotion and, and, uh, nods to other moments in Star Wars history. Um, me the music is still lots of John Williams, um, with t lots of themes we recognize. Uh, we get to see Anakin kind of really lose it he takes a red lightsaber in his hand and just goes to town. And uh, this is long before he starts Vader, so it's kind of there's kind of nice little nods as to what's to come. Um, so yeah, if you can live without the fact that this is not canon, it live with the fact that this is not canon. It's okay. It's okay. It's still have, it's still great fun. And it's, I'm so glad it's on Disney Plus now. I've had the DVDs forever, and they're not exactly hard. They're not exactly easy to find for people who were trying to find them after so long. But uh, hey. Now it's on Disney Plus. It's here forever, I'm sure. So, all right, let's. Uh, I guess uh, I don't. Have to, I don't have to sit. I don't have to check anything. Uh, our next episode is. Well, we're almost done. Tomorrow we will be watching. Um, Rebels shorts, just Rebel shorts. Uh, this is introducing each of the characters. So. God, I hope I got this right. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a it's been a, weird, a long weird week, uh, yeah. So uh, okay, rebels, the it's like four shorts introducing each of the characters: Ezra, Kanan, Hera, Sabine, Zeb, Chopper, 
and uh, you get to know who they are. And uh, this nice little introduction, if you've ever watched uh, Rebels, get an idea what it's all about. We've, we've already talked about the main series that's been already uh, watched many, many months ago. Uh, but I figured I'd not put this in, make it a full seven days, and uh, hey, there you go. All right, we'll see you back here tomorrow with Rebels Shorts on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge.